I was raised in the highlands of Pennsylvania, on reddish Devonian age soils formed from minerals that had last seen daylight soon after our distant ancestors first left the water. The same silts and sands that these fishy amphibian-like creatures swam and crawled over were in time deeply buried then gradually re-exposed through erosion. These rocks provided the surface that I learned to walk on. Their dissolved minerals were in my first sip of water and they weathered into the soil that allowed me to grow up strong. So it is with more than a passing interest that I follow the ongoing fossil discoveries that surround the evolutionary transition from fish to four-legged terrestrial vertebrates known as tetrapods. Not only is one of these lions ancestral for all four-limbed creatures like myself, but they and I shared the same narrow fragment of Earth's surface, though disconnected by hundreds of millions of years. Scientific theories are distinguished by their power to predict, and in the century and a half since Charles Darwin first coherently delivered the grandest theory of life that anyone has or had ever imagined, evolution has been shown to have amazing predictive powers. It wasn't that long ago that the discovery of the fishy tetrapod Tiktaalik made us all gasp at the predictive power of science. If you search for transitional fossils in rocks of just the right age, you can eventually find them. Because of these efforts, we now have a record of life that magnificently shows fin to limb transitions from early fish to tetrapod like fish to fish like tetrapods to tetrapods. As biologist P.Z. Meyer points out, we are now expounding on shades of variation within a well-established framework of transitional fossils from our life in the water to life on land. This most recent discovery is reported this week by Per Alberg and colleagues in the journal Nature. They describe the skeleton of a formerly cryptic species known as Ventastega coronica, formerly known only from fragments. These new fossils reveal that this 365 million year old species was clearly a fishy form of these transitional forms, part of the group affectionately known as fishopods. Relationally, Ventastega flops its way into the evolutionary bush alongside more terrestrial Acanthostega, which lived around the same time, and that fabulous four-legged one to two meter long more terrestrial species called Tiktaalik that lived 17 million years earlier in what is now Arctic Canada. Compared to these two related species, Ventastega exhibits more primitive fish-like features, suggesting that it had retained the look of the ancestral species common to the group. It is also more complete than many early Devonian period specimens. The new fossil consists of the skull, lower jaw, collarbone, upper shoulder, a forearm, part of the pelvis, ribs, and tail fin rays. If we could travel back in time to see these creatures in the flesh, we might at first glimpse think that they were small alligators. But experts would quickly point out that their fish tail fins and back, and their fish-like gill flaps on the sides of their head. These wonderful new fossils were found in Latvia in northeastern Europe. This seems like a long ways from the red beds of my boyhood home in Pennsylvania, and nearly as far from where Tetalik was unearthed in the Canadian Arctic. But back then the Atlantic was closing as Europe and Africa collided with North America. It was that great continental collision that created a common mountain range over which the waters flowed that created the lowland habitat that these species thrived in. These transitional species were unknown 150 years ago when evolution was introduced as the overarching explanation for life's diversity. Because of evolutionary theory, the existence of these transitional life forms was known before they were seen. It is because of evolution's awesome power of prediction that it has become a solid foundation for understanding the story of our own history through so many hundreds of millions of years.